Shalom. I want to give all praises, honors, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. And I want to say, Thawada, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, for giving us the understanding of the Holy Bible through your men, starting with the apostles and bishops of Great Millstone, who are worthy of double honors. And Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, Brakatham, to the elect of Israel. So here in this lesson, this is going to be a news report um, concerning what's happening around the world. I've got an article from um, RT News that's dealing with um, this digital currency that's being introduced out there in Russia, as well as what's happening out there in Australia. Okay, pretty much dealing with the same thing. Um, the ushering in of this cashless society, okay, in which those of us that are um, watching the news and linking up what we see in the news um, as it pertains to Bible prophecy, we know what's ahead, all right? And what's ahead is the fulfillment of major Bible prophecy pursuant to Revelation 13 and 16. And pretty much it's our job as the servants, the prophets, uh, the watchmen, if you will, of Israel. Israel being you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, we are the Israelites collectively. Well, um, as the servants, the prophets, Lord willing, we are those men, of course. Well, us here at Great Millstone, it's our job to give you warning, okay? Warning concerning what's ahead, all right? as it pertains to the Bible, dealing with Bible prophecy. Now this is Ezekiel 3 and verse 17. It says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Okay, now the job of a watchman or a watchman is to pretty much um, see the danger ahead and report back to the people and let them know of that danger. Okay, and that's pretty much what we're doing spiritually beginning with the apostles of great millstone on down um we see the danger ahead concerning what esau is bringing in terms of his mark that being the mark of the beast again pursuant to revelation 13 and 16 and the judgment thereof for anyone that gets down with his program all right his new world order his great reset his fourth industrial revolution in the sense of taking that mark, okay, receiving his mark, which the mark of the beast is the microchip implant, okay, and we're coming into some very um, troublesome times. As a matter of fact, the, the, the Bible speaks about the time that we're coming into as the time of Jacob's trouble, all right, and that's pursuant to Jeremiah 30 and verse 7. And when this so-called white man, Esau, Edom, um, introduces the world to his mark, which is the microchip implant on a global level. Um, you know, you as an Israelite, you're gonna be given a choice, okay? A conscious choice, whether you're gonna serve Esau or rely on Esau, you know, for provision, you know, to provide, or whether you're gonna rely and serve our Lord, our God, okay? The God of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Israel, okay? whose name in ancient Hebrew is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai. And those are the names that you need to not only uh, call upon, but rely on, especially in the time that we're coming into. That's why it says when you go to Isaiah 10 and verse 20, that it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel, which is the elect of Israel, and uh, those that escape the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote them, and in a nutshell, that's speaking about there being a remnant of our people, a remnant of Israel, again, known as the elect of Israel, that are not going to rely upon Esau's system to get by in life, okay? Whether it be his um, work or employment system or his educational system, you know, his school system, and most definitely his financial system. Okay, we're coming into a time where the elect of Israel, as it says in that scripture, 
uh, Isaiah chapter 10 and verse 20 that um, they shall stay upon the Lord, Yahweh Bashan Shai, the Holy One of Israel, in truth. Okay, and so in that time, that's when, you know, um, we're going to have to put our trust and our faith in Yahweh Bashan Shai, you know, to get us through that, that, trouble, that troublesome time, also known as the time of Jacob's trouble and um, the hour of temptation. Okay. Because, um, you know, it's going to be a time of great testing. But um, as our Lord said, which I'll get, Lord willing, in Revelation 3 verse 10, the Lord is going to put a spirit upon the elect of Israel, right? Those of us that have been doing his will to the best of our ability to resist getting down with his program, okay? To resist his temptation. And then also we have scriptures like Isaiah 65, you know, for, for brothers and sisters out there that may be worrying how they're going to um, eat or provide for their, their family, their children and whatnot. Well, the Lord said, my servants shall eat. Okay, so the Lord is definitely going to take care of the remnant or the elect of Israel during that time. We just have to, you know, do his will and endure, you know, during that time. And the Lord is going to, you know, do the rest. Okay, there's plenty of scriptures in the Bible that, you know, give us comfort and hope concerning the, the time that we're coming into and how our Lord is going to protect his elect. Right, you've also got um, Psalms 91. Um, how does that go now? The reason I don't want to go to all these different scriptures is because, you know, I want to make this lesson short and concise. That's how I like my lessons to be. But um, roughly paraphrasing Psalms 91, it says... He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Okay, the secret place being this truth that we're in, which is a secret, you know, in this world, all right? Not every Israelite out there knows what, knows what time it is, has got this truth, knows about Yahweh Bashman or Shai, knows about their will, all right? This is a secret that has been revealed unto the elect of Israel, start with the Lord's prophets, okay? As it's written in Amos 3 and verse 7, surely the Lord will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets, right? And only the elect of Israel can obtain this truth, Romans 11 verse 7. So this is definitely a secret. So pretty much our Lord has set up his watchmen, okay, here on the earth, in the form of the apostles, the bishops, the elders, and the men of Great Millstone, and like-minded, righteous Hebrew Israelite men that share our same report, okay? Pursuant to Isaiah 53 and verse 1, and um, Revelation 19 and verse 10, right? Concerning the spirit of our Lord, or the testimony of our Lord, our Lord being Yahweh Shai, which is the spirit of prophecy, okay? So our main focus is on prophecy and one of the main prophecies like i said that we're looking out for watching out for as the servants the prophets the watchmen of israel is the fulfillment of revelation 13 and 16 concerning the so-called white man um once and for all establishing his new world order on the earth okay and creating this cashless society whereby you're not gonna be able to buy or sell or do any form of business okay or be a part of his society unless you have that mark the microchip implant okay and again any of you israelites out there that get down with his program in terms of receiving his mark will be destroyed okay during the time of world war three which world war three is on the horizon and world war three is going to heat up to a thermal nuclear war where you're going to have all these different nations around the world shooting their nuclear missiles upon each other, mainly targeting America, all right? America's going to be uh, the centerpiece of our Lord's judgment. And um, there's going to be a great judgment for any of you Israelites out there that take that chip, okay, in order to survive. And that judgment is going to come in the form of thermonuclear missiles, ICBMs, okay from countries like russia north korea iran and even some of america's allies okay which will fulfill um again revelation 49 and 10 
um, Revelation 21 and verse 8 concerning the second death as well as Malachi 4 and verse 1 okay the day that cometh that shall burn as an oven so a lot of our people are going to go ahead and and uh, get down with Esau's program not knowing that they're going to be destroyed during that time and this is what we're warning you about okay it says therefore hear the word at my mouth and give them who's the them the them is speaking about our people the hebrew israelites again you so-called blacks latinos and native americans it says and give them warning from me so we're warning you day in day out week in week out about you know this great prophecy that's about to be fulfilled around the world concerning the mark of the beast pursuant to revelation 13 and 16 and it will be a prophecy that will be fulfilled throughout the world and that's pursuant to um revelation 3 and verse 10 let me get that real quick this is revelation 3 and verse 10 it says because thou has kept the word of my patience I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. So the Israelites that have been called and chosen to do the will of Yahweh Bashmael Shai in these last days, and those of us that endure unto the end, well, pretty much our Lord is going to give us the spirit to resist this hour, which is really a time period whereby, um, again, Esau is going to usher in this cashless society this digital society whereby you're pretty much not going to be able to um, survive in this new world order this great reset unless you have his mark the microchip implant but our Lord is going to give his elect that's the elect of Israel the spirit to resist this time that we're coming into why? because they've done his will okay um so again, it says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world. And when you go into this word world here in the Greek, you'll find the Greek word oikimeni, which basically means the inhabitants of the earth. Okay. Like I said, it's going to be a prophecy that's going to be fulfilled throughout the earth concerning the mark of the beast. So in other words, wherever there's an established working economy okay whether it be asia europe africa throughout the americas um certain pacific islands um esau is going to usher in this digital cashless society and pretty much what we're seeing here in the headlines as i'm going to show you is the introduction stages to Esau implementing you know his mark of the beast system hence why you're seeing all this news about central bank digital currency CBDCs um, over here in America you've got this whole situation with the Fed now which isn't actually a currency but that's pretty much going to be the account that they're going to use um, to filter their CBDC okay Anyway, what we're seeing here in the news is the beginning stages of Esau ushering in um, his Great Reset or what they call the Fourth Industrial Revolution, okay, which is pretty much the merging of um, digital technology and man, mankind. And at the helm of that is going to be the microchip implant to uh, connect the two, digital and human. Or digital and flesh okay and at some point in the very near future you know we're, ex we're expecting a black swan event this event might come in the form of a global cyber attack that destroys all financial systems around the world it could be the breakdown of the grid it could be um, a terror attack you know of some sort but we're expecting there to be a black swan event on a global level that's going to um, change up this whole society once and for all. And Esau, beginning with the wicked elite, okay, the wicked elite of Esau, 
beginning with the central bankers, they're going to use that um, event to bring about their, their mark, their solution. As a matter of fact, they have a phrase, a Latin phrase, an Illuminati phrase, ordo ab chaos, all right, which means order out of chaos. So we're expecting them to bring about chaos so that they can bring about their order, which is their new world order, which is on the back of their one US dollar bill. Okay, novus ordo seclorum, which is also Latin for new world order. And so that's why, you know, our Lord is referring to this time as the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So this is going to be a time of testing because the word try basically means to test. So, you know, our faith in how Bashmah Shai is going to be put to the test real soon. Okay. You know, when um, this microchip implant is made mandatory throughout the earth, throughout the world. And bear in mind that test may come in the form of you um, being put to death. Okay, because let's not forget what the Apostle John saw when you go to Revelation 20 and verse 4. He saw the saints, you know, having their head chopped off. And we believe that's going to come in the form of Esau's uh, guillotine, maybe a digital guillotine. But certain brothers and sisters are going to have their head chopped off, you know, because of this testimony. And because they're going to refuse taking Esau's mark. Right. Then you've also got uh, Revelation 2 verse 10 concerning certain, you know, brothers uh, being thrown into jail, okay, because of what we're preaching, because of our testimony, and of course, you know, refusing the mark to the very end. So, again, you know, we're definitely going to be tested, man, but Yahweh Bashmah Shai is going to be with his elect, their elect you know, in, in any predicament that they may find themselves in. Okay, so we're not to worry. Now, I guess I'll read a little bit from this article and um, this article, just to give you a gist of what's happening around the world. It says, Russia makes digital ruble official. President Putin has signed the necessary law to introduce the electronic currency. Russian President Vladimir Putin signed a law on Monday that introduces a digital ruble. According to the document published on the official government portal, the electronic currency will become operational on August 1st, all right, which is about a week away now. The digital currency will be issued alongside the traditional ruble, both cash and non-cash. It will be used to make transfers and payments, keyword being payments, which aligns with Revelation 13 and 17, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Okay, now of course, the digital currency itself is not the mark. Okay, so all this news about CBDCs or um, central bank digital currencies that's not the mark the mark itself is the microchip implant however in the very near future you know your digital currency is going to um, be on that chip okay it's going to be on that chip and um, you know they're going to bring this chip in they're, they're going to bring it in in the name of convenience so be aware. Anyway, it says the digital currency will be issued alongside the traditional ruble, both cash and non-cash. It will be used to make transfers and payments and will be kept in digital wallets on a platform operated by the central bank. Okay. Now, right now, your digital wallet comes in the form of your smartphone all right for the most part but in the near future um, that digital wallet is going to come in the form of a microchip implant 
Okay, as a matter of fact, um, let me see. If we type in wallet more, pardon me, wallet more. Which we've done, you know, plenty of lessons on this uh, company in the past. I know I have, and I know, you know, other brothers from the Apostles on down have done plenty of lessons on this particular company. Because like I said, the microchip implant is going to be the new wallet, okay? Now again, for the sake of time, I'm not going to read this whole article. Like I said, we've done lessons on this particular company in the past. I just want to bring out you know, maybe one or two points from this article here, just to make the point. So bear with me as I look through, as I scroll through. Okay, let's do this here. The need for WalletMar. The main focus that WalletMar focuses on is the growing concern for theft. According to the team, citizens are concerned about stealing wallets and payment cards. However, it should be noted that in the UK, theft has been decreasing in recent years. Um, the wallet more payment implant is therefore a recipe for these problems. It cannot be lost, no one can steal it, and the encoded data cannot be copied or installed on another device, their press office points out. The wallet more payment implant provides the highest level of convenience, like I said, and security. It cannot be forgotten or lost. It will not fall out of your wallet. The implant cannot be scanned or photographed like a credit or debit card for later use of the data printed on it. Okay, and then they got a section concerning you know, how everything is going cashless. So anyway, like I said, you know, what you can do is read this in your own time. But pretty much, um, you know, like I said, that that digital wallet um, is gonna go from your smartphone to, um, you know, the microchip implant, okay? And this is gonna be the new wallet. So anyway, without making this video too long this is what's happening out there in um in russia all right they're pretty much getting ready to make this digital ruble operational august 1st um 2023 and it's no coincidence that you know you have countries like nigeria and australia and many other countries that are pretty much um, going cashless, okay? It says major Australian bank to end cash withdrawals from some of its branches as the end of paper notes looms, okay? So, you know, we're fastly approaching this time, the hour of temptation. And um, like I said, you know, what we're doing is just measuring the time and were um, expecting for there to be some sort of black swan event for Esau to really usher in um, this microchip implant, okay? Now I'll leave you with this one scripture from Habakkuk chapter two and verse three. It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. The main vision that we're you know, concerned with now is the vision that the apostle John saw on the Isle of Patmos over 2000 years ago. 96 AD circa concerning the mark of the beast revelation 13 verses 16 to 18 okay and that's a vision that will be fulfilled in our lifetime very shortly okay and we believe that to take place you know under the next five years or so right even maybe even you know quicker than that maybe even next year you know but nonetheless you know we're measuring the time and we know that this time you know, is appointed, it's on our Lord's time. And that's pursuant to 2nd Ezra 4 and verse 37. 
it says, but at the end, it shall speak and not lie. And we're pretty much living at the end right now, okay? Concerning an age, a time period, a rulership. And who's ruling right now? The so-called white man. Esau, Edom, the Edomites. And that's their true biblical nationality, okay? They're also known as the wicked in the Bible, pursuing to um, Malachi 1, verse 4. Job 9 verse 24, Isaiah 26 and verse 10. Okay, and when you go to 2nd Ezra 6 and verse 9, it says Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob, referring to our people, the Hebrew Israelites, is the beginning of it that followeth. So once Esau's um, time to rule comes to an end, we as the Israelites, beginning with our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, we're going to rule next. But Esau's world is not going to come to an end until you know these visions the visions of our forefathers the prophets are fulfilled okay you know such as what the apostle john saw in his vision concerning esau establishing his new world order and bringing about that microchip implant okay his mark so you know we're living in a time where the prophecy is speaking loud and clear those of you that have the spiritual eyes you know to see and the spiritual mind to understand, you know, what's going on. And only the elect of Israel are going to see and understand. As it's written in Romans 11 and verse 7. Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. So the elect have obtained this truth, okay, and the understanding of these prophecies. Anyway, it says, though it tarry, meaning though it seems like it's delaying, wait for it. So... You know, again, we have to be patient. Just as um, our Lord said in Revelation 3 and verse 10, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, which the word patience means to suffer. Okay, so we just have to endure, you know, what we're going through in our individual lives, you know, out there in the world. You know, certain brothers are catching hell in the physical, you know, bodily ailments. Certain brothers are catching hell financially. Certain brothers are catching hell with their job. Um, you know, but we just got to endure. That, and that comes with prayer. That comes with um, steady watching, you know, watching out for these prophecies. You know, we just got to wait. We got to wait for it, man. This is because it will surely come. It will not tarry. So, you know, we're just waiting for our Lord to give this Edomite the green light, you know, to go ahead with his plans, um, his wicked devices, in which we're not ignorant of. You know, just as the Apostle Paul said when he got to 2 Corinthians 2 and verse 11, lest Satan should get an advantage of us, the us being the elect of Israel, the hopeful elect of Israel, for we are not ignorant of his devices. And when you go into that word device or devices in the Greek, Concerning 2 Corinthians 2 and verse 11 It's speaking about Esau's evil plot Okay, and his evil plot is to pretty much bring about uh, This cashless society This digital society And um, An event whereby He's able to um, Introduce the world Once and for all to his mark Which is the microchip implant Okay, so you know, this is just been a, a brief news report, and that's pursuant to Second Ezra 9 and verse 1. The angel Uriel told our forefather, the prophet Ezra, to measure it out of time diligently. Okay, so this is why us here at Great Millstone are constantly going into this prophecy concerning the hour of temptation, Revelation 3 and verse 10, Revelation 13 and 16, uh, to show you Israelites out there that. You know, we're fast approaching that time, you know, so we have to prepare through the spirit. Anyway, I pray and hope that you're edified and Lord willing, I'll catch you in another lesson. Shalom. Just